Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Juneteenth falls on Sunday this year, uh, which is also Father's Day. But for many companies and cities and states, Juneteenth is now an official day off and will be celebrated on Monday, June 20th. It's Ebro, Laura, and Rosenberg. We have Terrell Kirk on the line representing the Crate NYC, uh, representing small businesses in New York City that will be at the Queens Festival, the Juneteenth and Queens Festival, uh, return celebrating community community legacy and tradition. Terrell, what's going on, man? How are Hi, you? Hi, Terrell. What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How so you, you were just a vendor at the festival last year, um, but you your 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 company, the Crate NYC. One, tell us about it, and two, tell us about the whole experience at the Juneteenth Festival in Queens. Okay, so the Crate started like 2014. Once again, thank you for inviting me onto the show. Let's start there. No, right? it's love. But um, um, the crate started in Far Rockaway, New York. Um, it was just, it came from a, a quote we used to say, "Fresh off the block from stack bundles, fresh off the block." I got the print of the crate on me. So then we ended up starting a, a, a store, and then it turned into a clothing brand. And then you know, after that, we've had Kanye West, we've had Issa, and most recently, I think it, they they should have told you we had uh, Jada. He was on the Summer Jam screen, yeah, rocking uh, the tie dye joint. So we've been around some for some time, and, and we started off as a vendor and June team in Queens, just because, you know, Tunisia is one of my good friends and I just want to do things for, for Queens. Right. And then it like spiraled into something that became more dope. And here we are for the second annual year inside the park. And, um, this is at Roy Wilkins park, Roy Wilkins park. Yeah, that's correct. Now, one of the, one- America. You know, as as Juneteenth, like many other, uh, you know, celebrations um, in America, right, whether we're talking about uh, the observance of Martin Luther King's birthday or we talk about pride or you talking about uh, Hispanic Heritage Month or any of these other things, they become corporatized. Right. So you start seeing uh, ice creams. Remember the whole, you know, of course, dust up about the Juneteenth ice creams. You start seeing all these kind of like monetizations. We live in a capitalist society. Um, and also, you know, I think for when you're talking about Juneteenth, you know, my entire life, Juneteenth has been a celebration in a park somewhere. Like families getting together, cookouts, like that's been my whole life. Never did I think that it would be a um, a holiday where people got time off from work. And, and, a, and, and, and uh, the conversation around enslaved people's and and them getting the information in Galveston, Texas, two years after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed, that they weren't enslaved any longer. Uh, did I think that that would be a national holiday? But here we are, and I and I just want to salute all of the communities around the nation that kept Juneteenth as a time to get together with family and have some food and have good times in parks all across the country, and specifically the communities in Texas that started Juneteenth, right? And specifically Houston and Galveston. Um, but there are a lot of people that act as if and, and uh, as if Juneteenth hasn't been being celebrated by black families. And I also want to put out there, uh, if you don't know what Juneteenth is, had never heard of it, before the last couple years, post George Floyd and, and and all of these conversations, that just emphasizes and highlights the white privilege bubble that you live in. Because black families have been doing this for a long time. It's been around. So that just goes to show how kind of uh, 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 not tapped in as you, as much as you thought you were. Um, shout to Safira who actually uh, brought some community leaders on, and I think organized for you, Terrell, to come on this this year too to represent for the right. Juneteenth Queens right. Festival. Um, talk right. to us about um, the organizing chair, Tunisia Morrison. Uh, she's the helm of the fundraising and, and production efforts, and 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 the whole festival, and how people can. Uh, if you're a vendor or a small business, if I think it might be too late for you to get involved, but maybe next year might be an option. Yeah, well, shout out to Tunisia, of course, because without Tunisia, none of this would be like possible. Um, you know, she did last year, got with Alicia Hyman, and you know, we made it an official holiday for New York. But on top of that, to continue a festival in Queens and to bring, you know, small vendors like myself and a small business like myself together and give us the opportunity to be on the front stage for everybody in Queens, I think like that in itself deserves like, you know, like 
some some total recognition like me i'm just a vendor i'm just somebody who came along to help produce it but like her like you know down to you know and her work shaking the cup getting these organizations to be like yo we're going to be down with june De- juneteenth and queens i mean you know we we got bigger aspirations of course for juneteenth and queens but just to be able like i said to pull a community together from you know hustlers to you know families and then for it to be father's day this year it's going to be real special this year i think anybody and, and everybody who's in queens man if you're in brooklyn we ain't got no discrimination harlem whatever i think if if you want something dope to do this sunday i think for sure it's juneteenth i'll tell you one thing uh, i'll tell you one thing which would be the biggest congratulations you played yourself and people was like nah the juneteenth from queens is only for queens oh my god <laughs> Come yo, on. Yo, yo, I, you better not ever <laughs> fix your lips <laughs> You better not Let's ever fix that. your lips in your life. <laughs> Yo, know, on Juneteenth, really, we're doing we're doing borough politics on Juneteenth yeah, you know. on who get to come you around know. and who don't. You know how it gets sometimes. Nah, you know it better. It Yo. Yo, Terrell, I just want to go on record. It better not. That is that is exactly why we oh have. That's God. why. Listen, this is why we can't have nothing. This is why we can't have nothing. There's that expression. This is why we can't have nothing specifically ties to that idea that if you're from another borough, you can't come celebrate. Nah, this is a this is a time for you. Nah, bro. Not on Juneteenth. It don't. It better not. Terrell, so what can we expect? There's gonna be good food, shopping, performances. Definitely some giveaways, uh, some 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 performances. We got Ralph McDaniels out there. Ralph, Uncle nice. Ralph. Yeah, yeah, we got uh, Mr. Cheeks, we got Jeff Ooh. Brad. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be a vibe. We are gonna have food. We are gonna be giving away stuff. We are gonna be giving away stuff for the fathers. You know, so nice. it's definitely gonna be something to uh, music. We got some of the smaller uh, artists in our community also that we're um, bringing to the forefront. So yeah, it's gonna be special. I think it should be noted the New York State Association of Black, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, and Asian legislators are co-sponsors of the event. In addition to Lyft, EWG Glass and Recovery, UPS, Resorts World Casino, and a, and a lot of other sponsors have stepped up. Even, like I said, all the small businesses stepping up, making sure that Juneteenth and Queens Festival goes down. Uh, and it's this Sunday, June 19th, Roy Wilkins Park, Terrell, Kirk, Y'all go check out the Crate NYC, get your gear right. And Terrell, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, thank you. Hey, bro, if y'all, you guys ain't doing that Lower River Rosenberg, make sure y'all pull up, man. Huh? Yeah, no, for sure. I got a, I, I got a, I got a Father's Day uh, June team thing, a family thing going on, but um, definitely maybe, maybe and what, next year. And what borough is that? You playing politics? No, 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 I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to be out in Jersey, man. I'm going to be out in Jersey, man. No politics, man. No politics. <laughs> But nah, I appreciate, appreciate you, you man. Thank you so Thanks, much, Terrell. Thank you. All right. All right, Peace love, brother. Later. Thank you. Peace. All right.